Francis, uh, road Jason. games in the NBA used to be more difficult, right? And it, it is not because planes have gotten more comfortable. It mm -hmm. is not because hotels have better service. It is not because uh, the beds are more comfortable. It is because of the DMs. It is because of, because of, 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 of <laughs> see what it's, happens when you talk. It's, it's because of the Tinder, Francis. Ah, the Tinder. The DMs uh, and the Tinder. One GM anonymously put, his GM own, the DM. His own <laughs> DM the GM. <laughs> Wonder how many GMs get DMs. I'm uh, sure a lot. Phil gets DMs. I yelled at him. I hate GMs from you. What's your plan, <laughs> Phil Jackson? Uh, so, uh, we have a, a picture, I think. There it is. The manager, anonymously, calls it the tinderization of the NBA. Tinderization. Thank you. Thanks like for, the dating app. Thanks for spelling it out. <laughs> like the dating app. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five syllables. Like the dating app, no need to go to the clubs all night anymore. Indeed, various apps have done for sex in the NBA what Amazon has done for books. One no longer needs to leave home to find a party. The party now comes to you. And lifestyle judgments aside, the NBA road life is simply more efficient. Efficient. Uh, it's absolutely true that you get at least two hours more sleep getting laid on the road today versus 15 years ago. Uh, and he's pretty much saying, like, you don't have to go impress anybody at the club. You can just sit in your bed and bring them over. I also like that this general manager has completely stereotyped the only reason that any player goes to the club is to get laid. It's the only, there's no possibility because he wants to have a good time or just hang out with his friends. I mean, he's probably I right. Mean, yeah, I was gonna say, how, how far off is he though? Not far off. No, but I, 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 I mean, it's so true. It's, uh, it's the age of the Mia Khalifa age where you just feel like the best idea to have a conversation is uh, through text or Tinder. Because basically what, I think we had this conversation once on Think Tank, um, is that goes down? It's like on Tinder. It's like you you don't need the fat penguin, the, the icebreaker, the icebreaker, kills. The fat Easy joke. Breaks the. So basically, because you're already setting the precedence, yeah. you're six foot one Scottish guy, blonde hair, blue eyes, likes to discuss politics, and I'm probably throwing a couple of lies in there. Um, got a twelve inch. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> Would never put that on Tinder. Uh, but what I'm saying is, there's no need for that exchange. Um, if you're just looking to close the deal, you don't need the exchange in the bar. So it's just there on the profile. So they're basically like, okay, deal. Especially if they're an NBA player, right there, it's already set in stone. But then again, there's the other side of it. Are we just completely trying to remove all sort of human interaction? Yes, totally. When I was single, single Pringle ready to mingle. What, 14 years ago? Not that long ago, four. Uh, I used to like the idea of going out because it was the idea of the unknown. You were going to meet the mystery girl across the bar. Things were going to happen. See, Fireworks. When I go out, I Cisco get to a was point play. where everything just becomes the unknown. <laughs> you, you're the, in the unknown. That's the goal. You're in the upside down. <laughs> I'm in the unknown. Courtesy of tequila. I am in the sunken place. <laughs> but do you, no, it's going to come to a point, right, where if you're just looking to get laid, you're going to be stimulated through a mechanical device. You're going to see a girl. You're just going to press a button. What's with and the it's going to stimulate stimulated you. Stimulated with the mechanical device. We can not have to beat around the bush. Our audience is like 13 years old. I'm not talking about, no, I'm talking about it's going to come to a point where you don't actually need to have the, uh, you don't need to ha actually have the physical interaction. You just see them across the room and you're like, all right, they're connected through um, uh, uh, some sort of device. Hook it up. You just press a button. And it happens. I just can't wait until sex like bots. Can we can say sex print bots. me something. What's that? Sex bots. We can say sex yeah, bots. Yeah, Rick and Morty. Yeah. Sex bot. I was just about to say they have a sex bot in Rick and Morty. Fuck it, man. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what's gonna happen. They're just removing all sort of human interaction. There's no mystery in love anymore. If that robot knows how to pair socks, done. Marry it today. Rolls out a pair of socks. Yeah, knows how to pair socks together. Oh, I thought you meant the robot like wore socks whilst they were doing it. And that's no, just that's a no-no. Weird. No one keeps those Even socks for on. a machine. They should teach that in, in high school. Yeah, they should like, also teach how to do your effing taxes, but they don't teach that. Well, Instead, they I gotta learn about Rome. They should also teach sex ed and not have like Jim Matthews, your teacher, put a condom on a banana stuff. All right, before we get to a video, very random, very random tangent. Um, the more I learned about ancient Rome, the more I sided with Brutus. <laughs> Sorry, I said fuck it. Like the older I got, I was like, yeah, dude, I totally get that. You know, he's like, you. he did it while he was sleeping. No shit. Took him like, took, took the world like 4,000 years to learn to hide behind a tree in war. <laughs> I don't trust the guys that are running at each other with fucking axes. Um, we did a clip a year ago 
uh, about if it went down in the DMs. And it's like still one of the best videos ever from Slam Magazine because we got DeAndre Jordan, Miles Turner uh, with the quote of the year in this video. So take a look. Two of your fellow NBA players have been caught sliding in the DMs. What is your what is your take on the DM? They go down in the DM. You know what? <laughs> if you're really thirsty and you really need to quench your thirst, I mean, you've got to do it. But at the same time, uh, you know, you just got to be careful what you say because even just saying hi it makes you look like, you know, like egg of thirsty. So it just depends. Do you slide? Yeah. I mean, I won't even lie about that. I slide head first. <laughs> Uh, I hope I don't get caught. <laughs> but do you slide in there sometimes? Maybe, maybe. I'm not going to tell on myself. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, okay, yes. Okay, Of All course, right. of course. You just got to be careful. So sometimes I do uh, quote J.R. Smith. Okay. And I say he's trying to get the pipe, <laughs> but they don't get the joke. <laughs> All right, so the next... It's the best if they don't get the joke, <laughs> it backfires. <laughs> it's, it's undoubtedly the best ever line. It was going to go down in history as the best Jared DM Smith? slide ever. Oh, the greatest that, if You could literally pair that. Uh, that DM was someone sliding head first. That's how you should I love categorize sliding Miles. head first. That's like what made me totally have a new outlook of Miles Turner being possibly the greatest center of all time just because of that line. <laughs> it goes in head first. It's like, oh yeah, man, I go right just head first. <laughs> <laughs> Only way to do it. Uh, there you go. Uh, you know, like, can't say we don't bring you the important news. Okay? I know. Can't say you don't. Look, Maxim picked it up. A lot of people also. And I don't have a Tinder profile, by the way, just in case you're searching. But Jason, on the other hand, Bumble, man. Doesn't either. Tinder, I'm too lazy to talk to people, so Bumble, the girl has to talk to you first. So it just saves you time. Swipe right on everybody and see what bites. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. Life lessons. Just being honest. With Jason Rubin.